Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So we got Michael here at Val5 Links on Twitter, prominent analyst, details huge upside target for XRP, says crypto asset actually may be bottoming out against Bitcoin right now. So this is with regards to Credible Crypto's prediction. He's telling his Twitter followers that he believes that XRP could be bottoming out against Bitcoin as it finds some support. Now guys, the XRP USD chart is definitely something we should be paying attention to and uh, of course Bitcoin USD as well, but this is the XRP versus Bitcoin chart and I know I've talked about this on the channel in previous videos back in March we were coming back up against this support level, okay? XRP compared to BTC before we shot back up again. And uh, sure enough, we did kind of see one of these head and shoulder patterns. Now again, this is on the daily, but guys, look at where we're coming back down to, okay? Finding support in and around here. And so this is exactly where Credible Crypto is uh, seeing support, or you can also call it a demand zone, right in and around here before XRP shoots up to that next level. So what he's saying here, he's confirming that he's holding strong on his massive bet that XRP will hit $20 to $30 before the end of the current bull cycle. And then this article goes on talking about Peter Brandt's prediction, which is uh, bearish. Of course, Peter Brandt tends to flip-flop quite frequently, uh, especially when it comes to XRP. So I'm not going to get into that. I mean, I do think that we all know there is a case for altcoins rallying at this moment in time. And so uh, again, we don't look at this chart often, but the XRP to BTC chart is indeed looking like it is finding support here uh, at this level, anywhere between. And I mean, these numbers might not make any sense to you, but anywhere between 0 0.00001571 and uh, 0 0.00001741. So anywhere within this zone here, finding support you can see that bounce back uh, for xrp to btc if i zoom this chart out you guys can see uh historically i'm going to take it off auto you can see guys historically we have seen significant resistance uh during alt seasons when uh, we did find support on the xrp btc chart support before a rally upward one alt season coming right back down and then support here against btc another alt season uh, bringing XRP price significantly higher compared to Bitcoin over that long time frame. So finding support here, definitely a good sign. If I bring up BTC USD here, you guys can see a bit of a rebound. Bitcoin right now trading at about $34,100, uh, but still trading in this sideways channel here. Uh, and XRP price too, just kind of hovering in the mid 60s right now. 63.3 uh, is where XRP is trading at this moment in time. So kind of hovering around the, this resistance resistance level old resistance becomes new support hovering in and around here of course uh, you know the altcoin market still at the mercy of bitcoin so that is going to be a big thing to be paying attention to that hasn't changed this is another one from michael at val5 links i don't know if you guys follow robert kiyosaki he's taken to twitter to announce the upcoming biggest crash in history so not specifically with regards to cryptocurrency but here's what he has to say author of the popular rich dad poor dad book on financial literacy robert kiyosaki has taken to twitter to announce the upcoming biggest crash in history once again this month bitcoin according to him is one of the assets that may help endure the hard times in the near future the others are gold and silver so the theory goes if you want to hedge against at least according to robert kiyosaki if you want to hedge against the stock market you should buy Bitcoin and or gold and silver. The best time to prepare for a crash is before the crash. Here's a tweet that he posted uh, just the other day or rather just this morning. The biggest crash in world history is coming. The good news is the best time to get rich is during a crash. The bad news is the next crash will be a long one. Get more gold, silver and Bitcoin while you can. So he posted this in the wake of further financial stimulus made by the U.S. government in March. Besides, some U.S. lawmakers have proposed a rollout of the fourth round of survival checks. One of Bitcoin's biggest virtues against the USD and other fiat currencies is that no more additional BTC can be issued, as we all know. So, you know, these deflationary, whether it's cryptocurrencies or precious metals, this is what uh, Robert Kiyosaki is saying one should be investing in. Pay attention, guys, because, you know, this market is not going to go up forever. Um, you know, if we even look at the S&P 500 real quick here, you can see printing new highs every single day. But this is all artificial. All right, that's a bad arrow. <laughs> this is all artificial. That lockdown happened back in March of 2020, uh, and people around the world were panicking, started day trading. So this, an artificially inflated market, in uh, a lot of people's opinions, and it will come crashing right back down at some point. 
Uh, we just don't know when. So, you know, hedging your bets with gold, silver, uh, and Bitcoin, as per Robert Kiyosaki, this is what he's suggesting, is going to work out in the future. This just in, guys, from the Cryptic Poet, Ripple partner Neom partners with Pelican to launch travel cards for global use. News coming out of Australia with the travel industry poised for a big recovery post beer flu airlines and other travel agencies, or OTAs, are actively transforming their technology and processes in anticipation. For new partners Pelican and Neom, fintech plays a central role in this recovery, and it starts with the ability to issue travel cards that can be used around the world. Integrating Pelican's first industry travel super app with Neom's next generation financial services platform, the partners are committed to enabling access to a network of financial services for millions to achieve a common vision of seamless and digital travel experience in the future. Through the Neom platform, Pelican can quickly deploy new financial services services from card issuance to cross-border payments, and it is this level of scalability that has allowed Pelican to go to market and expand global reach quickly and cost-effectively. So cross-border payments, able to go global, able to scale quickly and cost-effectively. Of course, uh, being integrated with RippleNet would definitely uh, help with that. Frederick Crosby, Chief Revenue Officer at Neom, he said the travel industry is swiftly moving away from slow-moving payment platforms to next-generation solutions that empower end customers to take control over their finances uh, wherever they are in the world. Through this partnership with Pelican, we are proud to bring this vision to life. So boom, Pelican and Neom, who is a Ripple partner, banding together, and yeah, yeah, you know, travel is going to be huge. I wonder about this. I mean, I know, uh, you know, a lot of us have been pent up for the last year or so, haven't been really able to travel abroad. And so are we going to see a big explosion of travel or are people still going to be apprehensive, you know, perhaps uh, a little more careful uh, to travel abroad? Are we going to see those numbers just spike, just go nuts? Or are we going to see a slow incline? I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. Put it down in the comments if you have an opinion on that. Uh, but that's great news, guys, from the Cryptic Poet. Ripple partner Neom partners with Pelican for travel cards. And we know, you know, this world is changing, perhaps even being accelerated by this global pandemic. Uh, we're also seeing this, guys, from T-Holbetic XRP. Grossari is in the news. And so uh, let me read you guys a little bit of this. Grossari, a B2B platform for small stores in the Philippines, adds investors like Temasek's Pavilion Capital and Tencent. So, sorry, sorry stores are neighborhood stores in the Philippines that usually sell daily necessities and sometimes serve as community hubs as well. Uh, today, Grossari, a startup that is digitizing sorry, sorry stores with features like pricing tools, inventory management, and working capital loans, announced that it has raised a Series B from several notable investors that brings its total funding to about $30 million. The company's Series B is a rolling close. It has not announced the final amount. Uh, the $30 million, though, total it had raised includes its seed funding and Series A, which according to Ken was about $14 million. Uh, and so participants in the Series B, including Temasek Holdings, Private Equity Unit Pavilion Capital, Tencent International Finance Corporation, or IFC, uh, ICCP, SBI Venture Partners and Saison Capital and returning investors Robinson's Retail Holdings, which is part of the Gongkong Way Group, JG Digital Equity Ventures and Wavemark Partners. So a lot of partners investing in this and uh, just as per T. Holbetic XRP Grossari, which offers remittances, is backed by these companies again, ICCP, SBI Venture Partners, we know them, SBI Group, uh, the World Bank's IFC, among others. IFC is backed by dozens of payments and remittance firms tied to Ripple. So that is an interesting note Note here from T Holbetic XRP, and there are zero that are not. So interesting to see, you know, these companies being funded through other companies that also have an interest in Ripple. Interesting news there. Wanted to thank T Holbetic for posting that. Another one from T. Holbetic, guys. The Banker Magazine said that KFH became the first Kuwaiti Islamic bank to offer zero-fee instant cross-border remittances using Ripple's blockchain technology. So this here, straight out of the Middle East, Kuwait Financial House, or KFH, has won Best Islamic Bank in the Middle East, the Best Islamic Bank in Kuwait in 2021. Uh, so it has received this prestigious award from Banker Magazine. The banker jury named KFH the Best Islamic Bank in the Middle East and Kuwait due to the banker's leading role in adopting digital technologies in the area of specific specifically guys, cross-border remittances and cardless withdrawals. So what does this say to you? RippleNet technology on the cutting edge uh, because we know this bank is integrated with RippleNet. The magazine said that this year's awards recognize Islamic lenders that have managed to keep pace with the growing sophistication and increasing demands of Islamic banking customers around the world, particularly within the digital realm. Acting Group Chief Executive Officer at Kuwait Financial House, Abdulwalab al Rashud said, we are proud of this recognition because it confirms our efficient performance and excellence in delivering high quality, innovative products 
products through developed digital infrastructure. It also reflects KFH's successful digital transformation strategy that has been a milestone during this pandemic. So boom, yes, yet another bank running on Ripple and they are being now granted awards uh, in 2021 for that edge that they're gaining over their competition by adopting this new digital payments technology. So I wanted to thank again T-Hole Baddick XRP for posting that. And here guys, one from the Wrath of Kahneman with regards to a study uh, just recently published this month from the MDPI. I've talked about the MDPI in uh, previous videos. The MDPI or Multidisciplinary Digital Publishing Institute is a publisher of open access scientific journals. Guys, and here's one of the latest publications. Are cryptocurrencies a backstop for the stock market in a beer flu led financial crisis? So they did uh, some research on this evidence from the NARDL approach. Uh, so I will link this article in the description of this video. It is about 36 pages long. Uh, and so this was originally published uh, just last week week, June 22nd, 2021, talking about all kinds of different cryptocurrencies. And guys, guess what they highlighted? So as per the Wrath of Kahneman here, are cryptocurrencies a backstop for the stock market in a beer flu led financial crisis? What they're concluding is that XRP, not only XRP, actually XRP and Dash are appropriate physical backstops for the BRICS nations. They use BTC, ETH, XRP, XMR and Dash as the top five cryptos in the study's time frame. And here's a quote, guys. Our results show that in a non-linear and asymmetric framework, the relationship dynamics between stock market returns and crypto returns, both in the short and long run, are changing during the beer flu crisis. Dash and Ripple are found to be a sustainable safe haven for all five markets. So what they're concluding here is that if you hold Dash and Ripple, apparently, this is looking like a sustainable safe haven, specifically in regards to these BRICS countries, which are Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. So amazing news there, guys, coming from the MDPI. Again, I will link this PDF in the description. So what do you guys think? Dash, XRP? Maybe it's time to grab a little Dash as the market is down. Dash right now trading at about 126 USD per coin. Me personally, I think I'd load up a more XRP, but that's just my opinion. I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.